Good morning. So it is Dressing Gown Sunday morning live, which has become a bit of a tradition, actually, as I get up early and actually just do something, have some space, time, get some stuff done before the family are up, kids are up, etc. And um, the day is taken away. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is based on something that happened last night, actually, which is my hair got cut. My hair got cut by Mrs. Frucci and the Clippers. And it was interesting because um, as she did it, she was saying, you're making me nervous. And I wasn't even doing anything. I just felt like I was just sat there. Now, she has a right to be nervous. As years ago when she cut my hair, she did actually trim the side a bit too much. And what happened was I had a bold patch there. And she ended up actually colouring in my hair with some makeup. It was that bad. But anyway, people noticed. And when you're at university and people notice, that's not the greatest thing. But anyway, it's good laugh, good laugh. But what I want to talk about is how she said, you know, you're making me feel nervous. Now, I have no ability to, to make that nervousness, right? And it reminded me of, um, you know, I feel that too, that, you know, when you do stuff, you just certain, sometimes just go, yeah, you're making me feel nervous. I've said it before. You're making me feel overwhelmed. A to-do list, for example. My to-do list today is huge. I write my to-do list in my planner, in my planner in here. And sometimes you look at a list and you feel overwhelmed, but the list has no ability to make you feel overwhelmed. It's our thoughts about the list. At the end of the day, it's just some ink on paper, yet our thoughts about that list make us feel overwhelmed, right? Interesting. Anyway, this then goes on to yesterday. We did a colour run challenge workout. So it was the 23rd of um, May yesterday, which would have been the Newbury 5K colour run. And as a group, a lot of the ladies, myself, we were all in it together. We were going to do the Newbury colour run. Bit of a fun, bit, bit of challenge, bit of something to look forward to. However, obviously that didn't go ahead. So instead we did a little bit of a challenge online um, via a Zoom workout. And what happened with that was we had um, three levels, plane level, Eiffel Tower level, and um, Big Ben level. Essentially, the power was to show you that small habits really add up. And depending on the reps you did, the exercise you did to fit your lifestyle, to fit you where you are. Morning, Diana. Give me a hello if you are coming in. Let me know you're watching. Um, you were able to plan it around you and work at your level. But just to show that the reps you do add up to the extent where you're essentially lifting the equivalent of Big Ben, which is quite cool by the end of it, because you think that it doesn't really add up, but it really does. Anyway, going back to this, I got a message after that session set from someone saying, one lady saying, I always feel so good after doing it. I just wish I felt like that before. Once I do it, I love it. I enjoy it. I feel so much better, but I wish I felt like that before. And it's, and it's a really interesting point because what if... You know, we often say a lot of a lot of ladies come to me and say, I need to, I need the comp I need more confidence, I need more self-belief, I need uh, more motivation. But what if actually the only way to get the self-belief, the confidence, the motivation was to actually do it? Because we almost trick ourselves into thinking that we have to have this motivation, have this confidence, have this self-belief to be able to do something when actually when you look at every example out there normally it's done, then that builds the confidence. You know, a kid doesn't go to school really that confident. They often get, they often like quite nervous first day, right? First day at school, you know, first day for me, like presenting anything. I used to hate public speaking and all that stuff. First, for like first 10 years of actually doing it when I was at secondary school, all the way through to like, kind of post-grad level, I was, I was still really nervous. And I still get nervous to an extent today, but I actually just love doing it now. But my point is that the confidence, the self-belief, the motivation actually comes from doing it. And it begs the question, have we tricked ourselves over years to think that we have to have this motivation, have this confidence, have the self-belief to do something, when actually, is this actually a comfort blanket, this, this way of thinking? And actually, what would happen if you just did it anyway? And something I, I talk about a lot is the three minute test. So with exercise, for example, if you're really struggling 
to get the motivation to exercise, commit to three minutes. No more, no less. Commit to three minutes. If after three minutes you still don't want to carry on, you've done three minutes, better than nothing, done. Give yourself permission to stop. If after three minutes you're feeling good, you want to go a bit further, go for another three minutes. See how you feel. And it's a great way to see whether, you know, sometimes you're, you're like, should I work out today? Should I exercise? I should do. I'm really lazy. You'll, you'll go straight to saying you're lazy. When actually sometimes you are just a little bit tired. And if you try three minutes and you're like, you know, what, I'm still not feeling it. It's probably a good thing that you stop. If you try three minutes, you're like, I'm actually getting into this. I'm feeling good. The endorphins are going. You now know. So give me a good morning. Let me know you're watching. Hope that makes sense and I hope that helps. Anyway, speaking of motivation, confidence, self-belief, I am thinking about doing a free seven-day challenge. This this will be for a small group of ladies, local ladies, um, over 40, who kind of want that kickstart motivation plan to make some progress with their habits, with their motivation, with their fitness, with their nutrition. So if you do feel like that would be something you'd like to do, comment below, let me know with interested or send me a message. And if I get enough people, I will put it together. because I think it would be quite a valuable thing to put out there just to show kind of how in seven days for free, you can just kind of change the way you feel by doing. Hope that helps. And any questions, as always, let me know. Have a good Sunday.